Hey everybody, um, tomorrow at church, and this is Saturday, uh, tomorrow at church we're having what we call Thanksmas, and we're a very small church, so we combine Christmas and Thanksgiving together for our meal, and for our church meal, and so I'm going to be taking a couple things and I'm going to do a video on both of them. So, I thought I would show you um, what I do. So, the first thing I'm going to make is um, baked beans. I couldn't remember for a minute. So, in this pan, I'm going to saute some green pepper and some onion. And the other meal, or excuse me, the other dish I'm taking is um, going to use onion and green pepper as well. So I'm just gonna cook both of those together. So I've put some bacon grease in here to, um, to saute this in. So, I, I am going to ask Santa Claus to bring me a bigger work area in my kitchen because it is so small. But as long as we get the job done, that's all that really matters. So, I'm going to go ahead and put all the green pepper. And this is two about medium-sized onions and two, uh, excuse me, and one green pepper. So, for this, you need one medium onion and half a green pepper. And this does make a lot. Um, this is my mother's recipe and she would make it every year when we would go to my brother's for um, um, Thanksgiving. And that was like the family tradition that we all went there and we had the best time and he even at one point in time, this is before the internet, that he tried selling this recipe in the back of magazines, you know, where you could buy um, things and advertise things and all that. He um, put it in there to sell her recipe. But it's wonderful. Everybody always expected her to bring it. And... Uh, it's just a really good recipe. So, um, while that is um, sauteing, I'm going to go ahead and put in the bowl over here. I hope you can see it okay. With what I was going to go into the um, beans. Now, I feel like you really need to use a good um, pork and bean, or I'm using these bushes baked beans because that's all I could find. And this will work fine even though it has um, some seasonings and sugars and things in it. It will work fine for this recipe. The taste won't be far off from what my mom's recipe is but if you get the regular pork and beans get a name brand because you won't be sorry so we do a whole big can of them the broth and all And then, let me stir this around just a minute. Then to your, your beans, you want to add 
two firmly packed cups of brown sugar. Make sure they're firmly packed. Okay. I need to keep stirring these so they don't burn. I'm going to turn them down a little bit. Now, mustard, I'm going to put about half a cup. Okay, then ketchup, I'm going to add about a whole cup, maybe a cup and a half, and then you want to get molasses. A lot of people don't use molasses, but it um, gives your baked beans just a whole new flavor and it is so good so we will put that in and I'm going to put about half of this container and it's 12 ounces so I put about six ounces of molasses in there and I went ahead and cut the green pepper and onion off because it's starting to really um, get brown and get sauteed real good So just stir this up. Real good, get everything stirred in it real good. And, um, this is real saucy right now, but as you cook this, you're gonna cook it covered a while, and then you're gonna cook it uncovered a while. And um, when you cook it uncovered, a lot of this sauce is going to evaporate and it's gonna thicken and really good. So now I'm gonna take about half of the onions and peppers here. Just a little bit more. Okay. And stir these up in it. And I have been looking for a bowl that I can use or a container I can use to put this in and I really don't have anything as big as what I want. So I'm just going to use this and I'll have some left and if I have a whole lot left then I'll just take two containers. So I'm going to spray it Take this cup and dip it over into there. This 
looks like it might, might hold a lot of them. Okay, that's, that's enough, and I'll have a small container with the rest. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to put bacon on it. And I have this bacon that I got at... Um, Walmart, it's about $3 a pound, but it's pretty good bacon. Let me get a pair of scissors. And some people put whole strips of bacon, but I like to cut mine up in pieces that way. Um, Everybody will get some bacon when they come through the line. So just pull it out and cut off pieces, and that's not gonna work. So just let me get a few pieces out. Whatever works for you about cutting it, that's what you need to do. And I don't know how well this is working for me, but we'll get it done. I had forgotten to thaw this out, so I had to put it in the microwave to thaw out. And it just seems like it's a little bit hard to work with now. You probably could put bacon pieces or bacon bits on it if you wanted to. Instead of this, if you want less fuss in trouble but what I'm gonna do is cook this this evening and then in the morning I'll get up and warm it up and take it on to church we'll be having our meal at lunchtime so I don't want to get too much in it, but I want to make sure I have enough. So, that is it. When I uh, get it in the oven and bake it and it's all finished, I will come back and let you see what it looks like. So I'm ready to uh, take my baked beans to the um, thanks miss at church today. They turned out really good. I had too much, you know, for the one um, casserole dish, so I put the rest of it in another casserole dish, and there's only like a spoonful left because my family goes crazy over these. So I let them go about two hours covered, and then um, I uncovered them and let them go about another hour, depending on how um, um, much moisture or how juicy your beans are would depend really on how um, long you let them cook, and they'll 
um, they'll just turn out great, I'm sure. And I'm going to show you. what they look like and they have thickened up quite a bit and to me that's one of the secrets of a good baked bean is to not have a lot of real runny sauce in them so that is it I hope that you make it and try it and love it like my family has for so many years and um just have a beautiful day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye and i wanted to show you how much of the beans we're eating it's just a pretty much a thin layer on the bottom of the casserole dish and it was a big hit too um we only have about 20 people that go to our church regular and there was about 30 people there today. So, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.